Yo, what's going on guys? This is Winnie. Welcome back to another PUBG Mobile video. We have ourselves a little 12 megabyte update here. I just re-downloaded PUBG Mobile fresh from the App Store to get this brand new, new era 1.0 update. So you guys are going to see it here as soon as I see it update finished. Please restart the game for new content. You gotcha. Let's go. We got a new little icon there for 1.0 and I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. I saw this in the beta. It looked good. There's a new UI. We've got some of these Beyond Ace Towers, which is a cool update we got coming. And it looks like I have to log back in. So let's do that and then finally see what's in this brand new, new era of PUBG Mobile. Okay, it's actually going to start us literally into a match. So <laughs> this is interesting. We got 10 seconds. I actually got a sneak peek of this. If you saw my tweet today, data download. Okay, uh, auto allow automatic downloading resources while on a mobile network. If you wish to continue to download, you can manage downloads in the floating UI or on the download page. Well, all right. Thank you, PUBG Mobile. All right, I already reacted to this on Twitter. PUBG Mobile was kind enough to give me a little early look here, but we're flying in and it looks like Minecraft. Honestly, that's that's what it looks like. We've got a warning here. We're out. Do I control him? I do control him. Okay. So this time I actually get to fly straight into the giant electric ball of lightning. Let's go. All right. Are we getting closer? Can we look around? Can I at least see what's going on? Okay. It's just all bedrock. PUBG Mobile and Minecraft and now Portal crossing over in the biggest gaming event of all time. This is pretty sick, dude. All right. Like we literally have never seen anything like this in PUBG Mobile ever. Welcome to New Erangel. New Era. There we go. I like what they did there. That's pretty cool. That's nifty. And then boom, just cuts to the loading screen. Here we go. All right, we are uh, super duper naked here. We're gonna have to load up. Uh, we're gonna have to download all the asset packs. We have that brand new. Finally get to see it. There we go. My UAZ just got downloaded. My backpack's coming in. Oh, there's the gun skin. Are we gonna get? Oh, there's the helmet. Can we get the outfit? There we go, dude. We get to see the beautiful Wasteland Survivor man. This looks insane. Like the graphical overhaul they did. I'm really hoping that there's like a significant performance uh, upgrade here because I've been running the game on smooth extreme. I mean, I've got an iPad Pro, man. I feel like I should be able to run even, like, Balanced Extreme, but I can't. I'm not going to lie. Maybe iPads just suck, but uh, I've been running it on the lowest possible graphics here. We've got new gallery settings, all that stuff. Yeah, we can check it out. Settings are on the side now. What did it default me to? So it defaulted me to HD Ultra. If I go Balanced, can I get Extreme? So, yeah, unfortunately, we've got Ultra HD, and then we've got UHD coming soon, but uh, we've got Ultra HD. Actually, no, this looks pretty good. We're, we're only on ultra frames, unfortunately. No extreme here on uh, on this particular setting. The new shop just looks really cool, though, but I honestly, that's the last thing we want to check out. We got to check out the gameplay, but real quick, let's swipe over to the left and check out our brand new whole, like, character hub. We've got firearms that go inside those little shelves on the side. That is something new, and in beta, we weren't able to check it out because in beta, I don't have any gun skins, but... Let's see what we can do. Tap to customize. Tap the item display to customize the items you wish to display. We've got the portable closets here. Tap to expand your detailed personal information. Let's uh, let's open up some uh, skins here. Now, this is a great question. What do I want to show off with my outfit here? We can get, like, really, really into it. Maybe we'll go... Uh, I'm trying to think. What's the most complete set that I have here? I, I want to say it's probably the Pharaoh set. Just because I got so many different Pharaoh things here. Maybe the astronaut, actually. You know what? That might be easier. Let's just go with the astronaut. Uh, we can go with the vehicle, too. We're going to put on our level 3 UAZ. That is the... Is it this one? Yeah, we can put the fully upgraded right there. I can take a picture, too. That's so sick. So it takes away the uh, like the UI. 500 UC to unlock a corresponding display slot. Yo! Corresponding display slots? Can I actually have, like, the like Batman? I can have, like, backup Outfits? Dude, I need to get that right now. I'm gonna use some CUC and we're gonna unlock the other closets. I think that's what it means and I'm willing to spend to find out. I think this is gonna be so sick. UC, just get, let's just get 3,000 of that. All right, there we go. First UC of the new era has been acquired. So we can uh, go back over here, quick swipe to the left. We've got some backup. There we go. Finally just downloaded my Pharaoh outfit. You spend 500 UC for another slot. Ooh, so wait, can I do other things here? I can have a second car. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, is it for vehicles? Oh, so I just flex all my cars. Is that what this is? Can we go bape UAZ in the back, dude? I just got all these rovers. 500 display slot. Yeah, we can get... Uh, we could just load it up with, like, all these UAZs, dude. Like, I'm a big baller here in my garage. Out here in the Erangel Hills with my Lamborghini UAZs. <laughs> this is so weird, man. But I was so excited. I was hoping we would get... Uh, 
Oh, hey, we can actually put achievements on here as well. Hmm. What should I put up here? We've got so many different things. We've got Bounty Hunter, Perfectionist, Perseverance. I don't remember what any of these things mean. Collector, Well-Liked, Field Medic, Shopaholic, PUBG Elite. What are, like, the good ones to show off? I don't know. Oh, we've got titles. We can put titles up there. PUBG Partner. That's sick. Perfectionist. Now, we'll go Partner first. Perfectionist second. And third, Overachiever. Oh, wait. I can do six? 100 UC to unlock corresponding display slot. Yo, what? We can max out all the titles? Season 13 Ace. Oh, dude, I wish I had my Conqueror one in here. I was Conqueror Season 7, and that was the last season before they implemented all the titles and stuff. So I gotta, I gotta grind back to Conqueror one of these days just to get the new titles, like the entry effect, all that stuff. Season 7 was the last one to not have it. We gotta go Season 13 Ace. Might as well. We can go season 12 ace and then we'll just do like perseverance or something but yeah we got a couple ace titles in the closet but we got to start off with the mythic titles right there we got those as well now what do we put here for our gun closet so to speak and i think i've got i've got six of these as well we could buy it we can unlock to unlock a display slot this cannot be unlocked yet please unlock the previous okay so i think i've got to do this one not yet oh you only get one gun slot okay so we, oh i didn't see that there are, uh so we got 100 uc 200 UC, then we've got 400 UC, then we've got 600. I might actually run out of UC here. Okay, I had enough for that though. So we've got all the gun slots, perfect. What do we want to show off though for the first gun? Hmm. I kind of want to show off like maybe some gun labs here, like some maxed out gun labs. I don't know what ones to consider though. I think the one that's coming to mind here is the, uh, let's get rid of the AR actually. Let's go to the bolt action sniper rifles here, the AWM. We've got that level seven. Mob Avenger. Too many taps. Try again later. I'm just, I'm going as fast as I can here, PUBG Mobile. I think it's got to download the skin. Oh, darn it. All right. Well, you know what? Let's let all the downloads finish and then we'll, oh, wait a minute. I might not have to cut here. We've got a little, I think it's downloading the Mob Avenger right now. There, we just got the Field Commander. Oh, we just got the Mob Avenger. Let's go. Mob Avenger. Oh, and we get the, we get the animation, dude. We can have all the animated guns now. Next up, do we have any other animated guns? I think the only one I have that's animated is in the Car 98 category, and it's the Winter Holiday one. And you get those little twinkles of the Christmas lights. But I just, I don't know. I don't like that skin. I don't want it in there. Neon Fever Car 98 is pretty sick. What other gun labs do we have, though? M24, not, not really there. Uh, under ARs, automatic sniper rifles, no labs here. So under the assault rifles, I think the best, the next best gun lab I have that's actually like noteworthy is our level five Glacier M4, but it's not maxed and it's not animated. So I don't know if I want to put it in there. Let me know below what you guys would do here for, uh, for these gun slots. I'm not sure what to pick. Maybe after this, we'll just go with my favorites. I think one of my favorites is the Groza and I do know that is maxed. Oh, we got to go to AR. AR, scroll over here to the Groza. We got that level five Forest Raider. We're gonna put that in there. It looks pretty snazzy. Um, what else do we have? Shotguns, light machine guns, pistol, melee. Hmm. Oh, you know what I like? Light machine guns. Uh, we've got the maxed DP Enigmatic Killer in there as well. That's a really good one. And then if we scroll down, maybe we could pop in a couple other uh, little gun labs that we have. We've got the shotguns. I do know that I do have a maxed pump shotgun in here. If we go to the S1897. We got the Twilight Hunt pump shotgun maxed as well. Man, this feels so cool. This is like your bat cave. This is your personal bat cave and you get to max out everything. Your titles and awards. You've got your guns. You've got like all of your cars too. This is so dope. I love it. What else can we do here? Uh, DBS? No. S12K? No. Maybe we just go Winter Holiday, and then we'll end it off with the Glacier M4. M16, nothing scar. Nothing good there. Yeah, not really much there. So let's just go M4, and we'll just put that level 5 Glacier on the bottom there. We got to put it in there. I spent a lot of money on that thing, so we got to flex it somewhere. All right, so we've got our guns in the, uh, in the thing. You can slide these up and down, dude. That's so sick. Oh, they're all legendary. Except that bottom one is purple. I just realized that. We can't we can't do that, man. We've got to have a legendary gun here at the at the bottom here. What would I put? Yo, dude, that looks sick. Putting a sword in there? That's super dope. I might I might actually rock that. All right, so in the end, I just put the Neon Fever Car 98. It's just so colorful. It's one of my favorite skins even though it's uh, not really a gun lab or anything. So we're going to stick that in there now. I really wish I could show off my other 
outfits, I suppose, but we do have our X suit in here as well. I think that's super dope. Actually, let's throw on a gun skin. I need to figure out how to go in and actually change. Oh, and look at this. Actually, if you just sit and watch your closet, the guns kind of cycle. The titles also cycle. Yeah, see the guns just moved up there. That's really cool. So I was wondering how are people going to see my other things, but if they just wait long enough, you can actually, it kind of cycles. So that's perfect. So let's go to our closets here. Hey, finally, I got something that actually proves I was Conqueror. I like that from season seven. Perfect. Okay, so if you change closets, it does not change your, like, get up. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like it because it'd be so complicated if you could customize every single closet to have three different cars and six different guns and six different titles. But uh, I don't know. That'd be a lot. But at the same time, it'd be really sick. Like if you had the Pharaoh set and you were able to put the Pharaoh UAZ and like the Pharaoh bike and like all that stuff behind, that would be cool. But that's a lot of customization. Not not yet. Missions, workshop, inventory. All right. It's inventory. Okay. So you have to go back to the main menu to get the inventory. So let's check it out. We're on this closet. Let's go back and get a fully customized closet here of Pharaoh things. Got the M16. I think the gun that I'm going to pop on here is the Horus M4. Yes, it is. We got that. We got the backpack. Everything looking good. So now if we go back into our little bat cave. There we go. It's going to put the M4 on there. And that looks really good. Is there anything else that we can buy in here? I do not believe so. I think we bought all the things that can be bought. I love this update, though. I couldn't see any of this stuff in the beta. We couldn't see the titles. We couldn't see the guns. Like, it was just empty. And now that I actually understand what's going on here, it's uh, it's really cool. And it shows the names of the UAZs in the back, too. I just noticed that. Bape X PUBG M Camo UAZ, Winter Wonderland UAZ, and then I can't read that level 8 <laughs> Car Lab UAZ as well. That's super dope. All right, we're flying in over Erangel 2.0 here for the first time. First glance, let's just take a look at the map. Everything looks super green. And I can already like see some trees on the ground, which is kind of crazy. You can even see trees on Military Island too, which for how far it is away. That's some pretty impressive render distance right there. Seeing some buildings come in, it looks like Watertown's popping up. I can already see some buildings in Rozak, even in Pachinki. This is uh this is kind of insane right now. So let's just figure out where we want to jump. Oh, I was about to say, let's go to the OG crates, but uh, no, <laughs> unfortunately, a little bit too late there on the jump here. I kind of want to jump somewhere a little not hot. Do you think Gatk is going to be hot? We went a little late. Let's find out. I am going to be playing on Ultra HD here, which unfortunately limits my frames down from extreme to ultra. So I think that's about 60 frames per second down to 40 frames per second. So we're losing a little bit on the frame side here. What's really interesting, though, is in the settings, if you start the game on Ultra HD, you cannot go down to smooth, balanced HD, any of those graphics because, or HDR even, you can't downscale the graphics because it's actually loading two completely different texture packs. So these are like 4K textures as opposed to the other texture pack, which is uh, not 4K, basically the old graphics. So you can't switch between old and new graphics. So I upped my sensitivities a little bit to help compensate for the lower frame rate just because it felt a little sluggish here. I'm going to try to survive as long as I can here. These new buildings right off the bat look really dope. These uh, kind of blue paneling here. We've actually got some new decorations. We got a little, uh, little dresser here, a little couch and apparently only revolvers too all right nothing in here we might have to move out hopefully we got a vehicle spawn look at the field that's like that's the first thing i just noticed look how different this field looks versus how it normally looks i mean we've got a lot of different factors at play we've got higher graphics we've got a completely new texture pack better lighting we've got a lot of things here we have some very real players yeah trying to aim with the lower frames it's so choppy i need my i need my extreme frame club g Ooh, what was that little beep? Complete the mission. Oh, is it beeping to tell me I've completed missions? Interesting. Um, mutant? No, no, no. I don't like the mutant at all. Let's go ump. I'm not going to take this game too seriously. Just playing on such high graphics and, and such a low frame rate than what I'm used to, it definitely feels weird. I, uh, I know for sure after this video, I'm probably going to bump it back down. <laughs> probably just a smooth extreme, man. I'm a simple man. I like smooth graphics and I like extreme frames. Oh, we have somebody in that window. I'm 100% sure I just saw somebody in that window. Oh, okay. No, uh, no roadkill. Sounds like getting a kill with a vehicle is probably a mission. Oh, shoot. That's a real guy. 
Did I get a scope? No, no, I need to, I need to loot that body, Joe. No, there goes our tire. I think he had a 6x. I want to say that dude had a 6x. Oh, it was a comp. Dang it. Um, 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 um. What do we do? What do we do? Let's switch out M7. I'm going to take his whole load out. I need a scope. Oh, I see this guy right here. The green is weird, man. I'm not used to that. Can I switch that? Effect settings, hit color, red. Yeah, other effects, red, green. Yeah, let's just go. We got we went red all all around. Oh my god. You got one hit. He's crashing us. Come on, Joe, you got it. Nice job, nice job. Oh, this is so bad. These frames right now, I feel like a, everything is so slow. I like look at my guys like, no, like I need, I need 60 FPS, man. What's going on? All right, 39 alive here. We got, uh, okay, we got red things on the map right now. I don't know what these are. Do these fulfill my red fragments? Adventurer. Yo, the sky looks amazing. Look at that, even the light on the clouds. That's crazy. Alright, so we do have a red one this time. Let's see if I can redeem something here. This better be worth it. Literally, like, I'm in the middle of a battlefield. Hopefully it gives me, like, the a... The strongest people are those who continue to surpass their limits. Yo, sick! That's dope. So, not a crate weapon, per se, but we did get uh, an M7. We got a fresh level 3 helmet. Got a little bit of ammunition. I'd say that was worth it. I think driving around trying to collect some little fragments uh, might actually be worth the time it takes. Gives us something fun to do, you know? You can actually use this thing as cover. That's kind of sick. It's like a little you fort. To know how to survive oh, dude, we just got an dangerous. M4. Let's go. Yo, these are it. This is where it's at. Oh, this is worth it. Okay. We got, uh, over here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, God, they might push us. They might push us. This might be the end. Oh my god, dude. Wow, in the grass? I cannot play on Ultra HD. I can't I cannot play on these frames, dude. I can't aim, I can't see anything. Ugh. That's a rip. Not a good game there. Joe out Joe out killed me there, man. So Oh, unfortunate. Anyway, that was the new map. It looks super good, and I'm going to just have to say I've been playing on extreme frames for so long. I don't want to make excuses. I know I'm going to get roasted in the comments, but really for me, just being able to unlock... Oh, oh, we have 90 FPS on my... What? What? I didn't think this, I didn't think this device even had 90 FPS possible. What? Yo, that's what I got to play on right there. Smooth 90 FPS on tablet. Yo. Get me a match, 90 FPS and tablet. Oh my god. Yo, this looks... Ooh, you guys can't see it. This video is in 30 frames per second. My screen in front of me, though, is 90 FPS. This looks good. All right. This is going to be the new era of Winsanity right here. 90 FPS gameplay. I bet my next video is going to be 90 FPS. So why don't you guys compare my gameplay in this to my gameplay in that one. I promise you it's going to be a lot better. Something about the 40, 40 or 45 frames per second, man. It just feels a little bit choppier. I, I can't do it. But we got, to, we got to take a look at the map in the fresh, nice, brand new, shiny 4K textures. But that ain't it, Chief. For me, it's all about the performance, not the looks. It's all about the stats, not the, not the screenshots. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash like. I'm going to be uploading videos all tonight and tomorrow just trying to pump them out so you guys can see all this new stuff if you don't have the update yet and if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe to the channel i appreciate you for watching this video and i will see you guys next time